Hi everyone, this is Sage with Max on Support, and today we're going to be looking into how you can get a student subscription. We'll start here at our buy page. More specifically, this is maxon.net slash buy slash students dash teachers. We'll go ahead and click this Cavuto button, which will bring us to a third party e-store called On The Hub. Here is where you will verify your academic status. Before you get started, you will need to create an account using the email given to you by your school. You'll also want to make sure that you have a Maxon account set up with this email as well. These emails will need to be matching when you eventually go through the Maxon shop to get your final license. After your academic status is verified, head back to this product page. From here, we can add the student subscription to your On The Hub cart and we'll check out. Read through the terms and conditions and agree that you're not a robot. Once that's done, you'll have the details of your order here, and you'll also have your promo code. At this point, it's very important that you wait at least 90 minutes before making your final checkout in the Maxon shop. This will ensure that all of the information that you've given to On the Hub gets processed over to us and added into our database. Otherwise, you might run into some errors at your final checkout. Once we've waited 90 minutes, you can click this link in your order details. This is the only way to add the student subscription to your cart. If you add the commercial Maxon One license from the Maxon website, then you're not gonna see a change in the price once you add your promo code. Once you're at the Maxon checkout, click enter a promo code and paste in the code that you were given. This will discount the price of Maxon One down to the processing fee. This fee will vary slightly depending on your region's currencies as well as local taxes and fees, but should come out to around $19.99 US dollars. It's important to note at this step that your Maxon account must have a matching first name, last name, and email address to what was in your On The Hub account at the time of checkout. If you have any accented letters or special characters in your name, then you will need to add that information to your Maxon account as well. For verification purposes, we also highly recommend that the name on your credit or debit card matches the name associated with your Maxon account. To add this information to your Maxon account, you can go to id.maxon.net. Then just check out as you would with any other purchase. Finally, let's talk about installing your new software. After completing the checkout process, you'll need to install our application manager, the Maxon app. You'll receive an email with a link to download the installer, or you can download that installer at maxon.net slash downloads. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the prompts. After that's installed, open the Maxon app and log in with your Maxon account. Once you're all logged in, you can activate your software using this Assign Licenses menu. After that, all you need to do is install the software that you'd like to use and you're good to go. If any issues arise throughout this process, then please feel free to open a ticket with us in support. We would be happy to assist you further. You can find the support page at the top of our website. Otherwise, thanks for watching and enjoy your new Max on One subscription.